Muy buenas a todos señores, señoritas, animales y lo que haya por ahí, aquí estamos en otro vídeo de Black Mirror 3 Y vamos a continuar, estamos en las ruinas, si habéis seguido Black Mirror 2 sabréis dónde estamos Cabeza de piedra Bueno ya sabéis que en este juego los extras tienen que ver con unos cuervos que aparecen por el mapeado Aquí había un cuervo, que ya no está porque ya lo vi yo Pero que lo sepáis, cuando haga ese vídeo también lo veréis Así que no os preocupéis yo lo voy repitiendo. Cobertizo de metal ondulado. Destruido. Aquí estaba Ralph. Ay, pobre Ralph. ¿Qué habrá sido de él? Escaleras. No, no queda nada, eso está claro. Arcada. Half of a huge archway. The Academy must have been an impressive building. Pues sí, seguramente lo hubiera sido. O lo fuera. Ruinas. Joder. Sí, la verdad es que sí. Vale, algo más. Qué raro. Esto es raro, ¿eh? Sigue en rojo lo de las ruinas, señores. Bueno, no sé si habrá algo más por aquí. Yo no veo nada, así que... Habrá que irse. Al faro. Vámonos. Volvamos al bosque. Tenemos que revisar todavía a bosque. Porque esta parte todavía es inaccesible, así que habrá que volver. Camino de grava. Vale, fuimos por aquí. Por la izquierda no se puede ir. No nos deja, no sé por qué. Así que vamos al castillo, hostia, chaval. Pues a ver qué nos encontramos. Yo creo que la música es justo la música que había que poner en esta parte del juego. Aquí arriba también había un cuervo. Lo que pasa es que esto lo tapa. Pero aquí, sobre esta rama, había un cuervo también. Hmm. Vale, al castillo... Guía. You can hardly make out what he used to say. Vaya por Dios. Vale, caminos en asfaltar. Vamos a mirar ahora por ahí. No hay nada más. No veo nada. That's the road to Warm Hill, Willow Creek's neighboring village. Well, ¿Ah, sí? village is a little bit of an exaggeration, but at least there's a church there. Tiene I don't want to walk there though. Well, I have no reason to. O sea que That's no quieres ir, ¿no? Well. Vale, pues al castillo sí, ¿no? Hostia. Spectacular backdrop, ¿eh? But as I'm already here, I ought to look in on Lady Victoria and ask how she's doing. Pues sí, deberías. Menir. A huge lump of stone. I'm no geologist, but it doesn't look like it grew here. It's apparently a survivor of the Bronze Age, like the things at Stonehenge. <laughs> It's certainly decorative, if you like having boulders in your garden. Mm. It's certainly decorative. Sigue en rojo, ¿eh? Por algo debe ser. Todo tiene un motivo, ya lo sabéis. Cadena. Castillo. Típico de una película de terror de la hostia. Se puede hacer una foto, ¿eh? Al castillo. No sé si tendrá algo de especial. Bueno, fuera de grabación lo... le haré una foto, a ver qué pasa. Y según lo que encuentre, o sea, según... Joder, es que estoy escuchando un ruido de las alcantarillas. Si escucháis algo es que cuando un vecino usa la ducha, pues se escucha. Se tiene que escuchar, señores. Vale, em... Fuera de grabación le haré una foto a esto y según lo que sea, según lo que aparezca os lo enseñaré o no, porque a lo mejor es un extra, no lo sé. Aunque me parece que no es un extra. A lo mejor no, a lo mejor es la foto que me tengo que hacer yo. Bueno, ahora lo miraremos, antes de entrar, sí. Buzón. Creo que sí, que puede ser eso, eh. De hecho sí, tenemos que hacernos una foto delante de la puerta. Es lo, es lo que habíamos quedado con el capullo ese de Murray. Yedra. Is it just me or has nature taken its course at an amazing rate here over the last few weeks? Pues sí, puede ser. Vale, pues el buzón sigue ahí. 
intercomunicador y entrada. Supongo que no se podrá entrar. No. Pues habrá que llamar. Vamos a probar lo de la foto. Con el cuchillo en mano. Ah, pues no. Pero tío, ¿qué me estás contando, amigo? Mono intercomunicador. Oh, you've got a new doorbell with an intercom system. Ahora falta que respondan. Who's there? My name's Dare, uh, Adrian Gordon. I'd like to see Lady Victoria, please. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hola, señorita. Bueno, a ver qué tal se encuentra Lady Victoria. Sí, renovaciones. Vamos a ver qué nos dice. Do you think that being in the middle of a construction site is the right place for such an old lady? Lady Victoria was most insistent that she be moved back into the castle. She said that she'd been born here and that she wanted to die here. And the walls here are rather thick. She doesn't hear that much. At least she hasn't complained as of yet. How is Lady Victoria? As well as can be expected. She's not speaking to me, unfortunately. Perhaps you'll have better luck. God, it looks like a death chamber in here. Oh, I can feel a chill right to my heart. I can only hope Victoria gets better soon. Joder, no está en buenas condiciones, se ve. Biombo. A room screen. It's supposed to be a barrier to prying eyes. Vale. Vestidor. There are lots of cupboards. Huh, this is probably Victoria's dressing room. Seguramente. Taburete. Stool. Like lots of things in this room, it's red. Máquinas. Cama. A huge oak bed. Presumably it used to be Williams and Victoria's bed. William died more than 12 years ago. Sí. Lo sabemos, tocador. Hairbrushes, makeup utensils, creams, Victoria's cosmetic stuff. Pues bueno, joyero. A small casket. Victoria probably keeps her jewelry in it. Sigue en rojo. A small casket. Cuidado, eh, que eso sigue en rojo y todo tiene un motivo. Lady Eleanor's castle in Wales. But during better days, when Tom was holding me prisoner there three weeks ago, it was already half sunk in the marsh. Pues sí, estaba hecho una mierda. With books, souvenirs, and caskets on it. Huh, probably full of memories. Vale, ventanita, windows. If you look out there, you might think it's deepest winter. Or is that more to do with the chill here in the room? No sé, yo es que la verdad no soy muy friolero. Un cuadro. Puede ser. Pues... Sigue en rojo, ¿eh? ¿Se le podrá hacer una foto? No. No sé, sigue en rojo por algo. Eso está claro, máquinas. A ver qué nos dicen de las máquinas. A bit of a deja vu moment. About four weeks ago I was Exacto. standing at my foster mom's sick bed. These machines were there too. There's even a button to call the nursery as well. Uy, ¿qué has tocado? What's happened? Uh, nothing. I you hit the button by mistake. But now that you're here, Madre mía, la estás liando, amigo. Miss Antolini, Lady Victoria isn't speaking at all. Can't she talk anymore? Well, she does. 
I hear her sometimes through the closed door, cursing and praying. Praying, mostly. I rather believe that she doesn't want to talk anymore. After everything that's happened, too sad. I'd hoped you could break through the misery. You're her great-grandson, Adrian. Samuel's son, aren't you? Yes, I am. The only one. And the last one, too. How do you know that? Has Lady Victoria told you about me? Well, not directly. You know, she's not been speaking to anyone. But, as I said, I hear her cursing sometimes. And then you get mentioned rather often. I'm sorry, Mr. Gordon. I'll leave you both together now. Vale, nos deja solos. O sea, ¿qué has tocado, amigo? No, I'm not here to annoy the nurse. Ya te vale. ¿Cómo la lías? Bueno, pues solo falta el cuadro. Eh, aquí hay otro. Huh. There's some pretty big fish being gutted in this picture. ¿Eh, qué haces? It's signed W. Gordon, 1921. I wonder if William painted it. Uy, ¿se ha acercado para decirnos eso? El joyero también está pendiente, no sé por qué se habrá acercado por eso. Bueno, vamos a ver si Victoria... Victoria, my great-grandmother, and the only member of my family I've got left. No sé si podrá hablar. Vamos a intentarlo. Sí, parece que sí. Victoria, it's me, Adrian. Vamos a ver. Did you put up the bail for me? Are you being well looked after? Victoria, are you okay? Victoria, I need your help. Really. The police don't believe me. How, how can I make them understand that I'm Adrian Gordon when the name Darren Michaels is printed in my passport? Victoria, you're the only one who can help me. Please. I'm sorry about what happened to Bates, Eleanor, and Sally. It must be awful for you. Adrian, tell me the truth. Was it you? Did you start the fire? No, Victoria. It wasn't me. It was Lewis. He did what Angelina told him to do. She was behind all the murders. It was her who also lured me here because she needed me for, you know, the curse which only affects the male Gordons. She wanted to achieve what Samuel was trying to prevent. She was possessed by it. She lied to me, to all of us. What's all that, Adrian? You sound like a coward. It wasn't me. It was Angelina. Why should I believe you? Why have you come here at all? Things were going well for you in America. If you'd only just stayed there, Bates would still be alive. Eleanor, Catherine, Miss Valley. You're too weak. You can't stand up to Mordred. His ghost rides you. Like a child rides a rocking horse. Since you've turned up, there's been nothing but calamity. Just disappear again, Adrian. Do me a favor and go back to where you came from before the other half of the castle goes up in flames. Nothing at all. I, I've been talking with her, that's all. You'd better go now. Your great-grandmother needs peace and quiet. Yes, uh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't want that. I'm, I'm sorry. Just go, please. That happens. Now it's not just everyone in the village that hates me. The only remaining member of my family, too. Real good job, Darren. If I wasn't already doing it, I'd be signing up for therapy right away. 
Madre mía, tío. Qué locura, ¿no? Qué locura. Bueno, pues... Me odia Victoria, me culpa de todo. Debería haberme quedado lejos, muy lejos en Boston. Y luego subí eh, esa visión. Nunca le haré daño a Victoria. Fue Angelina quien lo ideó todo. Me atrajo hasta aquí. Es ella la que tiene que cargar con la culpa. Victoria no cree nada de lo que digo. Si tuviera alguna prueba... Bueno, pues ya no. Da igual que llamemos. ¿no? Tienes razón, amigo. Bueno, pues estas dos cosas fuera. El buzón supongo que no tendrá nada, ¿no? Vamos a confirmarlo. Vale, buzón vacío. Bueno, pues eh, hazte la foto. Es lo único que te queda, amigo. No te queda otra. Seguir con eso. Hay que ir haciendo cositas. Tenemos que presentarle a Murray una foto para que él te haga una declaración real, no la mierda que dijo a la policía. Hostia, a ver, a ver. Vaya selfie, amigo. Vamos a ver... Tendrá que servirle a Murray. Vale, ¿se puede hacer algo más? Una foto suficiente, ¿no? Y el menir este sigue ahí, ¿por qué? Bueno, vámonos, ya volveremos Vamos a visitar a Murray A ver si ese capullo le gusta la foto, ¿no? Y dentro de nada quitaré la grabación porque no sé si se estará grabando, espero que sí Yo de momento veo que la grabación funciona Porque los números, los segundos avanzan Así que bueno, vamos a ver si Murray... Se pone contento. So there, you've got your stupid photo. Happy? No, oh, I can hardly recognize a thing. Me in front of the castle as agreed. Okay, off to the cops, Murray. I'm sure you know how important my exonerating statement in the Valley murder case is. Murray. Okay, okay, I'll take it. First, go to the police station. All right, then I'll go today. I'm an honorable businessman. And I'm a possessed madman. I suggest taking a rest in your room first, and then when you wake up, everything will have been sorted with the police. <sighs> it really could use some sleep. Hi, Murray. Oh, the esteemed Mr. Michaels. What's on your mind? The woods around Willow Creek are pretty gloomy. The woods are quite exceptional, I'll have you know. Full of ghosts and demons, if you like to believe the local folklore. The perfect backdrop for all of the grisly murders that have happened here and are, regrettably, yet to come. You can hardly wait, right? I've lived here long enough to know that patience is a virtue. Why don't you go out and kill a few people yourself if you're so hot on it all? I'm a businessman, not a murderer. A small but absolutely fine distinction, Mr. Michaels. See you, Murray. Back to work. Venga, amigo, que te den. I wouldn't know why I'd want to start a conversation. Vale, pues a ver qué ha aparecido aquí. Vale, fuera. Se piensa que le voy a dar la foto tal que así, sin corregir la declaración. Pues puede irse olvidando la foto por la declaración. Ese fue el trato. Me vendría bien dormir un poco en una cama de verdad es mi, eh, mi propia habitación de hotel. Vale, ahora sí Pues nos metemos en la habitación Y dormimos ¿Por qué no? Una carta Uy, cuidadito Uf. Puedo ayudarte a demostrar tu inocencia Porque creo en ella pero también tengo que poder fiarme de ti. Aún no podemos reunirnos, por eso voy a enviarte pistas. Si quieres aceptar mi oferta, encontrarás la primera en la tumba de tu padre. Buah. Cuidadito. himself. Joder, señores. Vale, ese es el siguiente objetivo. Vale, esto fuera, perfecto. 
La tumba de mi padre esta noche va a ser más larga de lo que había planeado. Alguien cree en mi inocencia, pero tengo que probarme. ¿Por, ¿Por qué? ¿Y quién escribió la nota que encontré en mi habitación? Seguro que Murray no. Tengo que visitar la tumba de Samuel si quiero averiguar algo más. Por desgracia no tengo ni idea de dónde está el cementerio. Bueno, eso es cuestión de preguntar. ¿Y esta pared por qué sigue en rojo, amigo? No lo sé, pero bueno, es un detalle que no se nos puede olvidar, ¿eh? Vámonos. Sí. No, no nos vamos a quedar a dormir. Habrá que averiguar dónde está el cementerio. Quizá Murray sepa algo. Sí, sí, porque vamos a preguntarle. Vamos a ver, señores. Hi, Murray. Oh, sí. Cementerio. Mensaje extraño. Primero mensaje extraño. A ver qué nos dice. Is this note here from you? Pardon? No. I speak to my guests personally when I've got something for them. Was there anyone here asking for me earlier? No. You're simply not well known enough. That will soon change, believe me. Murray, do you know where the local graveyard is? A graveyard? Didn't you want to take a rest? I'm not up for resting anymore. I'm sure you can't mean the graveyard behind the hotel. It's being redone right now. It's being what? I've had it removed for the time being, so I can relocate it in a sensational new setting. It means I can charge more for some of the rooms with views over the Gordon Graveyard. You've had the Gordon family graves leveled? To be quite honest, there was only Lothar Gordon's grave there, the founder of the original sanatorium. The family crypt is in the churchyard at Warmhill. Ah, oh, right. In Warm Hill, then. See you, Murray. Back to work. Bueno, pues ya sabemos el objetivo. Tenemos que ir a Warmill. Vale. Hay un cementerio en la iglesia de Warmill. El párroco me podrá ayudar. Espero. Sí, antes hemos visto un camino que llevaba hasta allí. Así que rápidamente, vamos rápido. Sí, sí, sí. Todo veloces. Aquí supongo que no podré ir, ¿no? Mm, vale, nada. Pues nos vamos. No sé si nos dirá algo la señorita. No parece que esté. Es curioso, ¿eh? No, no, que no está. Pues vámonos. Vamos a Warmill. Eh, creo que no era por aquí. Vale, pues no. Creo que era por aquí. Y ahora sí, a la izquierda. Ahora sí. Perfecto. Ahora voy a dejar la grabación. Sí, porque no me fío, señores. Y espero que se esté grabando bien. Bueno, parece que se está grabando. Eh, esperemos que no me dé problemas. A ver, matorral. Unos necrófagos. ¿Pero qué dices, amigo? ¿Estás bien? Arroyo. Que te monto un pollo. According to the map, this stream is called Old Wansford. Old Wandsford, Wandsford, Wandsford. Bueno, vamos a ver si encuentro algo más. No veo nada. Hay un sendero aquí. Uy, uy, uy. Vale, no quiere ir para allí. Pues nada. Descartada la zona. Vamos por el caminito. ¿Qué encontraremos, amiguitos? Ya estamos aquí. Esta es la iglesia. Campanario. In that case, they are small auxiliary bell towers. Iglesia. Warm Hill Church, 800 years old and no spire. Hostia, 800 años, eh. Brutal. Torre. Fortified tower with battlements. That might have been more essential than a bell tower. Vale, ya estáis viendo aquí un cuervo. Ya le daré clic yo fuera de grabación. Pero que sepáis que hay un cuervo ahí, por si alguien no lo ha visto. Vale, aquí tenemos una tumba, vamos a ver. Oh. Pues sí, deberías. Vale, parece que sigue en rojo. Debe ser por las flores que le tenemos que traer. Bueno, está la puerta ahí, ¿eh? Tumbas. Vale. Tumba reciente. That's quite a recent grave. There are even a few flowers still lying on. Tiene flores y es reciente. Uy, 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 señores. Vale, portón. Locked. 
La casa del párroco Vale, pues está en rojo también Portón, tumba reciente Y tumba Ya entraremos luego, vamos a ver el cementerio Qué bonito, por favor Bueno, de bonito en realidad tiene poco, pero Tumbas anónimas Lápidas sin nombre Hostia, chaval Wow una manada de elefantes Cripta familiar Uh, cuidado A lo mejor averiguamos algo sobre la tumba de nuestro padre Samuel Gordon Samuel Delgado A ver, a ver, a ver That's the Gordon family crypt The musty skeletons of my ancestors are Just behind this door. I'm not interested in paying them a family visit. No? Vaya por Dios. Lápida grande. That's William Gordon's grave. My great grandfather. He died in August 1981. No idea why he wasn't buried in the family crypt. Porque fue especial. Y sigue en rojo, eh. Cuidadito con ese detalle. Muro. The wall has collapsed right in the middle without having a demolition ball taken to it. Takes a few hundred years for that kind of thing to happen. Tumbas. This certainly isn't a well-groomed graveyard. Most of the graves are overgrown with twining weeds and roots. Sí. La naturaleza siempre impone, siempre está por delante, siempre se lo acaba llevando todo. Portón, supongo estará cerrado, ¿no? También está cerrado, ¿eh? Y es la casa del párroco, o sea, es la otra zona. Vale, pues... ¿Qué queda? Tumba sin nombre, la lápida grande y, bueno, el portón. Pues ya está, no veo nada más. Bueno, pues vamos dentro, señores. A ver qué pasa. Ay, 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 ay. Sonidos, pancos. Hombre, tanto que lo desean, amigo. Confesionario. Ahora miraremos. Vidriera. Un momento, esto. Columnas. Esto es muy raro, eh. Hay algunas frases de la Biblia engraved en esto. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world, says John 1, verse 29. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain, says Philip, also 1, verse 21. For many are called, but few are chosen, Matthew, blah, blah, blah. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid, Psalms 118, verse 6. Madre mía, esto será alguna especie de pista, ¿no? Vale, vamos a pasarlo rápido, sí, es lo mismo Pero sigue en rojo, ¿eh? Eso tiene que ser algo Más adelante quizá lo sepamos Ya está, no hay nada más Tejado Bueno, pues confesionario Vamos a ver, señores no sé quién es, pero habrá que ir, ¿no? Venga, échale huevos. Madre mía. Coño. Qué susto. Hey, you there. Está dormido. God forbid. A Mark, the grave digger. Do you know Warmill well? Of course, but it's just a few houses on the back of the woods. There's more life in here, I tell you. Are you looking for something in particular? No, I'm just trying to get an idea of the place. Well, looking around this graveyard will give you a better idea of the place. And should you want to reserve yourself a spot here, then let me know. I recommend the southern slope. That's the best location. Thanks for the tip, but uh, I'm in no hurry to die just yet. <laughs> It's in a hurry to come and get you. 
<laughs> what is it you actually do all day? Answer stupid questions. I mean, digging graves can't be all you do. Yeah, you're right, lad. I don't just dig. I repair things too, keep the church in order, guard the graves. And if you think that the weeds grow on their own around here, then think again. It ain't weeds, and it don't grow on its own. But who's interested anyway? What did you mean by that? You guard the graves. Well, because of the clientele. So they don't get dug up. By dogs and the like. Which dogs? Well, strays from around here. For them, a graveyard is like a... Uh, an underground hot dog stand? Yeah, exactly. With bloody tough sausages. <laughs> you must have a lot to do around here, being the grave digger. Oh, that's right. My job here is uh, quite secure. Can you tell me anything about the church? What do you mean then, lad? Who built it? It certainly wasn't me, even if I might look that old. Must have been around the time Marcus Gordon was alive. Have you seen the dark part of the tower up there? Yes. He ran out of stone, and they say he took stones from his castle walls to finish it off. Demolished his own castle to finish the church. A model Christian. Perhaps his time was running out. Got himself buried in there in the end. A crypt that's a hundred feet tall with an altar and a bell tower, all for him alone. <laughs> what a modest man. All those toffs are. <laughs> no, he treated himself to an extra crypt underneath the nave. But it caved in twelve years ago. Nobody can get in there anymore. It's quite a woody area. That's also supposed to be the reason it's such a bloody area. The evil of the woods? <laughs> People around here read too many horror stories. Or have experienced it themselves. Have you been in the woods here at night? No. They say there's plenty to see. Murderous lords of the castle. The undead. Modred's voracious hellhounds. There are many stories about it. Probably as many stories as there are people here. Hmm. The woods around Willow Creek strike me as being particularly creepy. Yes, and the number of wild boars in there is uncanny. I've known them to trample down my fences to get at the clientele. But I've got some crafty traps set up. I'm looking forward to having a roast. The priest gave his permission. There's a fresh grave in front of the church. That'll be Sally's, the young cook from the castle. The poor thing was burned to death, just like old Bates. The fire didn't really make any difference. But Bates isn't here. Lady Victoria insisted on burying him in the Golden Crypts, like a member of the family. Just like Lady Eleanor, I assume. Yes, there's still plenty of space in the crypt. Lots of the Gordons haven't been buried there. Why not? Well, uh, there are just too many murderers and suicides. The frowned upon the Catholic graveyards, particularly the ones who commit suicide. Why? What happens to them? Well, they're buried anonymously, without any religious ceremony, without the ringing of the bells, without any prayers, without a priest, nothing. They're all buried before sunrise, over by the north wall. Isn't that what they used to do hundreds of years ago? Perhaps where you come from. But we're in Warmhill, the manor of Black Mirror Castle. Things are all a bit different around here, my lad. You don't happen to know, being the grave digger and all, where Samuel Gordon's grave is? He must have been buried in 1981. Mm, that's a tough one, lad. So many people died here 12 years ago. 
good and evil alike in the strangest of circumstances. I really can't remember who ended up where. You'd be better off talking to Father Frederick, the priest. Perhaps he can remember. Where would I find the priest, then? Today? Well, you won't find him at all. He left around midday. Some conference or other. Supposed to be back by noon tomorrow, though. I'd better be going. Keep your eyes peeled, lad. Bueno, pues ya volveremos, señores. <laughs> se queda dormido, ¿no? O sea, ahí se queda, ¿no? Perfecto. Nada más. Lo dejaré tranquilo, sí. Bueno, están las columnas estas pendientes. A ver... El párroco me podrá ayudar, espero. Hoy no voy a encontrar la tumba de mi padre. El párroco no está, solo puedo volver a preguntar mañana. Pues sí, eso parece. Ya es de noche. Mmm... Uf... Cuidado, eh, señores. Cuidado... Que ya es de noche. Vamos a ver si el cementerio ha cambiado en algo. Todo sigue igual, ¿no? Tumbas anónimas. Ya nos ha comentado que los asesinos y todos acabaron en tumbas sin nombre. O sea que puede que esté por aquí. A ver, eh, no hay cambios, ¿no? Aquí en el bosque. Portón. A la iglesia. Bueno, pues vamos al bosque, señores. Pero es de noche. Tengo miedo. Señores, vamos a ver qué pasa. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Ay, 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 ay. A ver, eh, supongo que aquí nada, ¿no? Vale. Señores. Hay jabalíes, ¿eh? Aquí... No sé si era aquí. No sé si es aquí. Vale. Aquí hay que dejarse matar. Ya veréis por qué. Aquí la opción sería correr por hacia el sendero Pero si nos dejamos matar Desbloqueamos una escena Y quiero que la veáis Bueno, ya habéis visto la escena de muerte Señores, antes de continuar por ahí Como... No sé si tendremos la opción de hacer esto Lo quiero hacer ahora porque me he dado cuenta Y en caso de duda prefiero hacerlo ahora es decir, vamos a volver rápidamente Antes de... Esto eh, es lo que habéis visto antes, ¿sabéis? O sea, hace unos 13 minutos Había detenido la grabación justamente ahí, ¿no? Pues quiero... Enseñaros una cosa Y es en la comisaría, rápidamente Porque podemos hablar con el inspector Spooner Y por si acaso, más adelante no puedo hacerlo Prefiero hacerlo ya A ver si nos dice algo interesante este capullo Warm Hell, the only village in England that's even smaller than Willow Creek. It's pretty much just a church and a load of corpses, some under the ground and some walking around on top of it. Perhaps you can tell me where the nearest graveyard is? Do you want to pay your victims a visit? Try Warm Hell. Have there been any breakthroughs in Miss Valley's murder case? We've arrested a suspect, a young American who was seen with her and asked her about the murders here in the village. Probably with perverted intentions. Yeah, I know. Anything else? I just won't admit it. That makes me very sad. I'll just forget it then. There are beer cans and fireworks lying around in front of the castle. Are there often parties up there? Yes, but it's just a bunch of 14-year-olds. It's some kind of test of courage for them to piss over the walls of a haunted castle. Is there nothing you can do about it? What? Put up some portal lose. How can I convince you that Angelina did all these things? Make her confess. Uh, she's dead, remember? Then show me the corpse. I'd love to, but she fell into the abyss. Yeah, yeah, the lava. I know. Go and annoy someone else. Why don't you just bring in a couple of earth movers and dig out the academy? You'll find the answers there. And who's gonna pay for it? You? Apart from your statement, I've got no evidence to suggest that there's anything to be found there. You're not the most believable of people. Have you even asked yourself why the runes collapsed? I even got experts in. 
and they were all in agreement that the ruins collapsed due to disrepair. It was all ancient and decayed. Nothing to do with an evil conspiracy. That's all for now. Pues qué casualidad que justo se derrumba ahora, ¿no? Qué casualidad, amigo. A ver, el agente Zack supongo que no podrá hablar con él. No. 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 Bueno, pues aquí dentro ya, en principio, nada más. Vale, pues bueno, este hombre está comprando. Aquí dentro nada, pero aquí sí, atentos. Otra vez la señora. Se ha acojonado otra vez. Sí, 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 sí. Bueno, eh, Bobby. There's Bobby, the village idiot. El tonto del pueblo. That's being unfair. He's pretty much the nicest guy for miles around. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Oh, hi, Darren. Is it true that you're uh, evil now? No, Bobby. You don't need to be scared. I'd never do anything to anyone. Claro, somos buena gente. Others said that you set fire to the castle. You shouldn't believe everything people tell you, Bobby. I'm innocent. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's what Tom says all the time too. Okay, Darren. I believe you. Tell me, Bobby. Do you know the village policeman? Yeah, but I don't like him. Tom doesn't like him either. Are you working here now? Yeah, yeah, but not for money, but for Denise. She she's my new girlfriend. I help her out. And what does Edward have to say about that? N -n nothing. He he gives me a cloth and a wash bucket. <laughs> I get it. Aren't you working in the museum anymore? N -n -n no. Mrs. Poth sent me away. The mayor has sent you away? How come she did that? I didn't take enough c care, she said. I did lose the key. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And is Denise happy you're helping her out? Yeah, yeah, she gives me muffins and chocolate. <laughs> That's kind of her. But I don't want to have it f for nothing. I'll pay for it later. <laughs> I don't want her to get into trouble. That's nice of you, Bobby. You really like her then? Oh, yeah. D Denise is much prettier than Mrs. Puff. <laughs> She's even more beautiful than the sun. <laughs> the waiter, Edward, is he pleased that you're helping her as well? He'd send me away, but I always came for back. Then he said that if I make myself useful, I can stay. I'm not allowed to just sit and stare at D -D Denise, because <laughs> people will get scared of me. I don't like it if people are, are, are scared of me. I don't like that either. Uh, Edward said as well that if I t t touch a cake, then I'll have to e eat it. <laughs> and they don't give me coffee anymore, because it makes me ill. Do you know the old lady who left so quickly earlier? That's old Dorothy. She's funny. <laughs> she always c comes here and p picks up uh, old cakes. She, she, she gives them to uh, uh, goats. I like goats. What's your brother Tom up to then? I d don't know. He's not around much right now. But that's good too. He said he's going to kill you if he finds you. I'd better be going. Uh, okay, sí, sí. Darren. Me va a matar. Sí, sí. Corriendo. He's living in a lovely, colorful soap bubble. <laughs> I'll burst <laughs> it later. A ver, doctora, ¿qué haces tú aquí? Ay, 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 ay. A ver, doctor, how can I help you? Pues hablemos de Warmill. 
What can you tell me about Warm Hill? Well, not a lot, really. It's a little hamlet that belongs to Willow Creek. There are only a few people living there. Most of the houses are falling apart. I think it's where all the miners used to live. Can you tell me where the graveyard is here in Willow Creek? <laughs> You'll have to go to Warm Hill. The graveyard's there. Catch you later. Take care. Ese cambio repentino de música, tío, la verdad es que no lo entiendo. Vale, Edward. Vale, ya está. Supongo que aquí no podré entrar, ¿no? ¿no? Ahora mismo no es momento. Denise, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué habéis hecho tú y Spooner? A ver qué nos dice. And what does the deer inspector do when there aren't any donuts left? He always gets what he wants. If need be, I bake him some. Does Bobby work here too? Not really, but I can't stop him from cleaning the tables all day long. What can you tell me about Edward? Let's put that another way. Why should I tell you anything about Edward? Well, I just wonder what it's like working with him all day long. He's not the most easygoing of guys. I mean, a plank of wood would be more relaxed, don't you think? He's my fiancé. Anything else? Uh, excuse me? You're engaged? Does that mean you intend to marry? Got a problem with that? Then join the back of the queue. Wow, that old woman sure left in a rush. Did I frighten her away? <laughs> of course. You're the king of the nutters here. Maybe I'll see you later. Vale, pues señores, sí, ahora voy a volver a hacer una transición. Voy a hacer una transición hasta la, el momento de los jabalíes. Porque ahora sí que quiero hacerlo bien. Bueno, señores, volvemos a estar aquí. Sí, 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 sí. Tenemos que salir corriendo. Ahora sí, no queda otra. Bueno señores, no hay mejor momento para dejarlo que este Cabaña del bosque, eso solo ha podido ser una pesadilla, una alucinación o lo que sea Estoy aquí en una cabaña perseguido por dos horrorosos abuesos infernales ¿Y qué se supone que he de hacer ahora? ¿Cuál sería el consejo de la doctora Witterbottom? Ejem, ejem, mantente callado y busca una salida si es posible, no por la parte de delante bueno, en principio yo creo que son lobos, no jabalíes Pero bueno, la cuestión es que si nos dejamos matar Como hemos visto antes, aparece una escena extra eh, en los extras Así que señores, yo ya me despido No hay mejor sitio que este para dejarlo Así que no me enrollo más Disfrutad de vuestros días, pero recordad Sobre todo de vuestras noches Hasta la próxima